Welcome to Chapter 3, Lesson 8. Lesson 8 covers dividing three and four digit dividends. We have one vocabulary word for this lesson, which is partial quotients. Partial quotients is a dividing method in which the dividend is separated into add ins that are easy to divide. Now, before we go into this lesson too much further, I'd like to remind you of a strategy that we used in an earlier lesson. When dividing two digit dividends, we used the saying, dad, mother, sister, brother, rover. Those reminded us of the steps um, to long division, which stand for divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, repeat. If that's a strategy that helped you, I encourage you to continue using that. If you have a different strategy, go ahead and use whatever's best for you. Now taking a look at example one. We have, in a four hour period, 852 people rode an amazement park ride. If the same number of people rode the ride each hour, how many people rode the ride in the first hour? So you see I've already lined some keywords here. We have four hour period and 852 people. If we let P represent the number of people, P is our variable, the number of people is our unknown. So we have 852 total divided by four hours. So we're finding 852 divided by four. Now we start off by estimating, just like we did with multiplication, when we have an estimate that helps us check to make sure our final answer is reasonable. If we round 852 to 900, 900 divided by four is 225. So our final answer should be somewhere in that area, probably a little bit smaller since we rounded up here. Now step one, we're going to divide the hundreds. So we have eight divided by four. We know that two times four is eight, so we write down our two up here, our eight. Eight minus eight is zero, and we bring down our five. Four goes into five one time. So we have five minus four, which gives us one, and we bring down our two. So we have 12 divided by four. That goes in there three times. Well, four times three is 12. So 12 minus 12 is zero. Now, just like in an earlier lesson, there are step-by-step -step directions on the side. They give more detailed steps of exactly how to solve this problem. So if you need to, go ahead, pause the video, slow down, replay it as many times as you need. Now to answer this problem. So we have 213 people rode the ride in the first hour. Now we can check our answer using multiplication. So we have 213 times four, that should give us 852. Let's go ahead and double check. 213 times 4, 4 times 3 is 12, carry the 1, 4 times 1 is 4, plus 1 is 5, 4 times 2 is 8. We get 852, so we know that we did the division problem correctly. All right, let's go ahead and move on to, all right, for example 2, it says to find 7,946 divided by 6. So step 1 is to divide the thousands. So we're going to take 7 divided by 6. Well, so we know that six goes in there one time. Seven times, or six times one is six. If we do seven minus six, that's left with one. We bring down our nine. Step two, we need to divide the hundreds. So we do 19 divided by six. We know that three times six is 18. So we can write our three up here above our nine and subtract 18. 19 minus 18 is one. And when we bring down our four, we have 14. So step three, we're going to divide the tens. 14 divided by six, well, we know six times two is 12. Subtract 12, we're left with two and bring down our six. And very last, we're going to divide the one. So we have 26 divided by six. Six times four is 24. When we subtract, we have two, which gives us a remainder of two. So 7,946 divided by six is equal to 1,324 remainder two. If you would like to write that as a mixed number, that would look like 1,324 and two out of six. This is how you'll start writing in sixth grade once again, so if you're not quite there yet, don't worry, um, we'll get lots of more practice. The final step in this problem is to check our answer. So to check division with the remainder, there's a couple steps you have to do. I'm going to go ahead and highlight this because this is important. 
because it is a little bit different than usual. So first we multiplied the quotient and the divisor. So we have 1,324 times 6. If we were going to, would go ahead and multiply that, that would give us 7,944. Now we need to add our remainder in. So we have 7,944 plus our remainder of 2, which gives us 7,946. This gets us back to the original number we started with, so we know that we did our division correctly. All right, I'm going to go through one more guided practice problem with you, and then see if you can go ahead and tackle the rest on your own. So we have 268 divided by 2. We'll start with dividing the hundreds, so 2 divided by 2 is 1. 2 times 1 is 2. Subtract, that's 0, bring down our 6. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 2 times 3 is 6. Subtract, 6 minus 6 is 0. Bring down our 8. I'm going to go ahead and draw arrows here. Sorry, I should have done that earlier. 8 divided by 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 minus 8 is 0. So our final answer is 134. Let's go ahead and do one more since I forgot to draw the arrows on that one. 595 divided by 5. Start with the hundreds place. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 5 times 1 is 5. Oh, and the lights went out. Hold on just a minute. So 5 times 1 is 5. Subtract 5 minus 5, that's 0. Bring down our 9. 9 divided by 5 is also 1. 9 minus 5 gives us 4. Bring down our 5. Divide in the 1's. 45 divided by 5 is 9. Subtract 45, and that leaves us with 0 left over. So our final answer for this one would be 119. Another important step I forgot is to check. So let's go ahead and check number 2 to make sure we did it correctly. 119 times 5. 5 times 9 is 45. Care 4. 5 times 1 is 5 plus 4 is 9. 5 times 1 is 5. Looks like we did guided practice number 2 correctly. Now let's go back and check guided practice number 1 since I forgot that originally. We take 134 times 2. 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 1 is 2, 268, that's what we started with, so it looks like we did both problems correctly. All right, on page 12 of your packet, I am going to have you complete 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 on your own. That will be your assignment that we will check tomorrow in class.